Detroit judge taking action today to raise the defendant's bond, which many thought to be too low considering the violent nature of the crime. Police say Dejon Johnson broke into the home of a 78-year-old woman and attempted to sexually assault her. Sean lay live with the reason Johnson's bond is now much higher. Sean, the initial bond was set by a magistrate. A magistrate of, and the bond was set at $5,000. We're told by prosecutors and prosecutors in court today saying that admissions have been made about the home invasion and the attempted sexual assault of a 78 year old woman. And again, that initial bond, 5000 This is the third time now bond has been addressed in this case. And the judge in the case brought up bond again tonight. And now it's $100,000 cash. Take a look. In June, we told you about a 78-year-old woman's world being violated. She was working a crossword puzzle in her own home on Lodwick when a man broke in and terrorized her. In court today, prosecutors describe what the man charged. Dejon Johnson has admitted to police to doing. Once the defendant entered her home, he then proceeded to uh, push her down. Uh, she was trying to bite him off with her pen because she was doing her puzzle. Um, but she, he proceeded to push her down and remove both her underwear and her pants and then proceeded to rub his body on her. At the time, Police Chief James White called the attack cowardly. Prosecutor Kim Worthy called in an attack on our most vulnerable, a home invasion, an attempted sexual assault of a 78-year-old. Yet, once arrested, a 36th District Court magistrate gave Johnson a bond of $5,000. Today, prosecutors described that bond this way. But certainly at the initial bond, very insulted by that number. It was wildly inappropriate. 36th District Court Judge Kenneth King first raised Johnson's bond to $50,000, and at the hearing today, he said he had to address that bond again. The 78 year old woman house was violated, and she was violated. The horror that she probably felt at that particular time. And Judge King raised Johnson's bond a second time to $100,000 cash. I'm just not willing to take that chance on this defendant. Judge King, if you could hear him there, saying he did not want to take a chance on the defendant uh, getting out on bond. It was revealed in court. His job on the east side was going door to door, asking people to do yard work for him. The judge says his concern was for public safety. We talked to the prosecutor's office again, guys, today. They said when a magistrate sets a low bond, they will fight that bond if they think it's low at the next court hearing. We're live tonight. Sean Lay, Local 4, back to you. That is quite a shift. All right, Sean.